Hi there, in this video I'll show you how you can view the change history tracked by a monitor via your watch list. Let me head over to the Distill web app and here you can see a few of my monitors. Let me go ahead and show you how you can view the change history. Just hover over the section tracked by the page and you will see click to view history up here. Just go ahead and click this section of the watch list. This will expand the view of all the changes that have been tracked by this particular monitor. You can see on the left hand side it has different timestamps and at these points in time it has recorded all of these changes. Any new additions that the monitor has tracked will appear in green. Anything that has been deleted from the page will appear in red. Now if you want to explore the diff in detail just go ahead and click on explore diff. And here you can see that all of the new additions on the page have been highlighted in green and deletions have been highlighted in red. This is the side by side diff of the changes this particular monitor has tracked which are 172 additions and 170 deletions. If you want to see the diff inline just go ahead and choose inline diff. Here you should be able to see the differences tracked inline. You can even choose to view changes at different points in time. Here this is the latest change that has been tracked by the monitor. Now if you want to check out and compare the changes at different points in time, choose a prior date. And you can see the view changes. You can use the up and down arrow button to navigate through the changes one by one. If I switch back to the side by side diff mode and use the arrow button to navigate through the changes, it will slowly start scrolling through the page and showing you the changes. Since there are multiple changes, this moment might appear slow for you now. But if you do track pages where changes are scattered, this will help you easily navigate through them one by one instead of using the scroll button. So if you want to navigate out of the diff view, just click on the X button and close the change history view. If you want to collapse this preview of changes, just click back on the view history button. Now, when you do expand the view, you will see that you have different options uh, called deleted and snipped. Snipped will show you only the section of the page where the changes have been tracked. However, deleted will show you the portions which have been tracking deletions from the page. You can set a default preview by choosing the checkbox on a mode which is more comfortable for you to view. In my case, I will choose snipped as my default view of changes. Now this is a monitor that is tracking a news website. Let me go ahead and explore the diff on this page. Now you can see that there are different formats in which you can view the diff. The first one is the visual mode which shows you the web page as it is. And the text mode will show you the text of the web page alone. And by clicking on source you can view the source code of the web page. And you can see that this monitor has tracked two differences and two deletions. Let me navigate out of this view and go ahead and collapse this change history view. I hope in this video you understood how to navigate through the changes, compare changes tracked at different points in time, view it side by side or in line and understand added text and deleted text just by looking at the color that has been rendered on the change view mode. 